Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm feeling like a bombshell brown bar of chocolate because we've got brown on brown on brown on brown right now. And this video is sponsored by Nice and Easy by Claro because that's exactly what I use to create this look. Today I'm gonna to basically show you how I dyed my hair at home myself. And I'm really proud of myself because it's been a long time that I've attempted dyeing or anything. Um, and actually I had a video where I did it before and I did like one half and half my hair looked like a crispy ginger something or the other and at that point in time I said no Patricia I'm not gonna wear color so I've been quite adverse other than I had like a, a quite a harsh ombre that I was like you know what this is all too bright for me so I basically decided to take the ombre hair I had and then change it up and create this look it's a one step and it's so easy to do. I use the nice and easy Cull Enhancers. These are non-permanent, so come out in between six to eight um, washes. There's no ammonia, no peroxide, and they've got a pH of between eight and nine, which makes them very mild. So you can use them on natural or relaxed hair or weave like I did. And there are nine different shades, so it's all kind of browns, blondes, and these are really affordable. You can find them at Superdrug. So yeah, I'll have everything linked in the description bar below but in the meantime enjoy this video and I haven't done an old school like tutorial like this for so long but I'm gonna be doing so much more I am a color girl I'm here like you won't be seeing me in black hair anymore maybe I don't know we'll see we'll see <laughs> anyway guys I will catch you later thanks so the color I started out with was quite a harsh ombre so i had a half dark and half light hair color and i wanted to get rid of that so i started off first by bleaching my hair now to get this brown you do not need to do this but because i wanted to get rid of the harsh color i had i needed to bleach the top of my hair to kind of combine the two and it's also great to allow the lighter colors to prop through a little bit more so i basically mixed developer along with bleach and i used the aluminium foil and of course a brush to apply the bleach I basically just mix these into a non-metallic bowl together along with the bleach powder and that is what it takes to basically put these onto my hair. So I focus on the areas that were black um, just to basically get rid of that harsh gradient and also I wanted to kind of create a balayage but I wasn't that successful at doing that. I also used the foil to kind of help it to set, but I found that this bleached very, very quickly. I think it's because I put quite a lot of bleach powder in there. And then I basically took this wig off and put it on a stand and just went all the way in. Again, the key thing I wanted to do was just get rid of the harsh lines and differences. So I checked to see if it had lightened and it lightened quite quickly, about 25 minutes. And I focused on just doing the back area as well. I did it really rough, but it lightened real quick, which is quite surprising. And then I went ahead and I just rinsed that in the sink, rinsed all the bleach off. And yeah, that was at the very end of it being done. So I let that dry and just combed it out. And then what you'll see is that I ended up with hair that looked slightly kind of gingerish. <laughs> and it was quite crazy, but it's fine because I knew I was going to add the brown on top. So this is the range of the color enhancers from Nice and Easy. The color collection is really good and really natural. They have a great pH of between eight and nine, which is very gentle on the hair. There's no ammonia and no bleach in it, so you can use it on your natural or your relaxed hair. Also, there are nine shades. So I went ahead and focused on the ends of my hair first because they were the lightest and I really wanted them to be as dark as possible and so that the hair didn't look too harsh. The applicator bottle was so easy, I just basically squeezed it and I thought there wouldn't be enough to cover my whole head, but honestly, there was so much. So after this it got a good rinse out and I came back and basically I felt like my hair was literally black but I know that my hair can often look darker until it's like blow dried out. So I go, went ahead and used my broken blow dryer to dry it out and see what it looked like. 
and as you can see where I had bleached the brown had really taken quite a lot and I actually liked the color effect I ended up getting here so I basically blow dried it and left it until the next day to curl it because at this point in time I was quite tired but as you can see this is what the color looked like so once I curled it and everything you can see what it looks like I absolutely love the color so easy to do literally it's just one step but I decided to just you know bleach as well um, very natural gentle on the hair and I love the results so if you guys ever want to try it please do check out my link in the description bar below and if you want to know anything else I'll be answering comments below thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later Bye.